سبيل الدموع سبيل مريح تنا أدا يا صاحي كي تستريح To set the context, kind of give you the background on what's going to be going on, we were in Tampa Bay for a youth conference, and after the conference, some of the young brothers and myself, we went out to go eat. We weren't there to debate, we weren't there to argue, we weren't doing da'wah, we were just out there to eat, and a born-again street preacher decided to come and try to preach to us, try to evangelize and pray. What I want you to keep in mind is first, you noticed how we listen, and she doesn't. Secondly, the method of prayer that she utilizes and what the Bible shows. Enjoy. Hey, listen, listen. He, he has some really good stuff to say. One, one, two, one, two. Listen, listen. <laughs> oh, one second, one second. God bless each and every person. Let the Lord bless each and every person and their family with long and healthy lives. Lord, do a quick work in their heart and show yourself real to them in a personal way. Now, everybody, repeat after me. If you want a free gift that God has for you tonight, then repeat after me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, oh, wait, wait, wait. come into my heart. <laughs> Now you see the hypocrisy of current day Christianity. They talk about Jesus, they sing, they dance, they yell, but they don't follow Jesus' peace and blessings be upon him. How did Jesus pray? In accordance to their Bible, Matthew 26, 39, Jesus going a little further, he prostrated, he made sujood with his face to the ground and prayed to the one mighty God, according to the Bible. But that's not what we find Christians doing today. In fact, if you look in Genesis 17, 3, Ibrahim, Abraham, peace and blessings be upon him, he did the same. He fell with his face on the ground and worshipped the one God. You find the same thing for Moses and Aaron, that they both put their faces on the ground and prayed in what as Muslims we call sujood. In fact, throughout the Bible, you will find the pious. For example, Joshua, he bowed with his face to the ground and worshipped. And this is in Joshua 5.14. You will find even the angels in Revelation 7.11. 
that they prostrated before the throne, before the arsh, on their faces, on the ground, as Muslims do, and worshipped God. Today, when Muslims worship, you see us standing, kneeling, making ruku, sujood, prostrating, praying, as the prophets prayed. And you see, on the other side, Christians like this. Slogans, yelling, dancing, screaming, not able to have a conversation, not following the way of Jesus, not following their own Bible, dancing and thinking this is their worship. Now listen to the reaction and shown that the way of Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, was not this way. Was not the way they worship today, the way they have innovated into their religion, just dancing and screaming and yelling. And Jesus, peace and blessing, did not. Are they open-minded to discuss? Are they going to provide evidences from the Bible? Are they going to discuss this issue? Let's see. Read your gospel I'm not, and find I'm out how Jesus prays. You know you can't because you can't argue. Because you don't have evidence. All you have is singing, dancing, and slogans. We believe in Jesus. I'm 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 Jesus
and people with open minds and open hearts will continue to accept the truth and this religion will spread to every household. Here's an example.